Hey everybody, Joe Latender here. I've been doing a lot of plank reviews lately. I've done Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards. Now I'm working on LL Flooring and I'm gonna do uh, Floor and Decor next and some others. So today we're gonna be talking about Corlux, Corlux XD, Corlux Ultra. I'm also gonna go through the Tranquility Planks and we're gonna do Duravana. So that's what we have in store for you today. So let's start with this Corlux. So we're gonna start checking for patterns inside. How many patterns are in a carton? Okay, so I just got done going through the box. Now there's 10 different planks in this carton and we have seven different patterns. Now for one of their low line, amp, uh, one of their low line vinyl planks, I gotta tell you, I'm pretty impressed by that. I am, I'm shocked to see that there's this many patterns inside this box. So, so far I'm liking it. And I wanna show you what those are. So I have two identical. That's it, the rest are a little different. So you can see these two are identical. And then of course we have the one, two, three, four, four singles. And then we have this one right here, which isn't identical, it's overlapped a little bit. So you can see a little bit of this plank sticks out from it. So it's overlapped. This one has quite a bit of an overlap. So there's a couple of feet, maybe close to three feet sticking out there. You can see the pattern. So that's pretty dang good. Okay, let's see how this cuts now. Now I'm using a utility knife here because that's what you can use to cut vinyl plank. You can see it scores and snaps really easy in the width. Let's check out the length. Also scores and snaps real easy in the length. Pad stuck, which is fine. Just need to cut it. Let's try the jigsaw. Okay, jigsaw cuts through it like a hot knife on butter. It does score it up, or it's pretty rough cut, but that should get covered with the trim anyway. All right, so now I'm gonna try the marker test. Now I like to mark all of my cuts using a permanent marker. This is what I used to like mark my walls and door jams. So I wanna make sure that I can take this off if I use the marker on it. Now what I'm using is denatured alcohol to take this off. My rag is pretty dry here. All right, now I have some on there. Let's see if it comes off easy. All right, so this is a drop and lock. So again, if you've watched any of these videos, you'll know what I'm talking about where you have to take a rubber mallet and hit these joints together. Before I'm gonna hit that one together, I'm gonna get another one connected to it first. Now that I have it connected, now I'm gonna hit it together. So get that connected. So I get it in the long joint and I'll slide it back all the way to this joint. I lay it down and now I tap it together. You can see I had a damaged corner right there. So obviously I wouldn't leave that. Just let it drop down into the joint hit it together. This stuff actually goes together pretty well. I'm hitting it pretty good with my tapping block and I'm not damaging the locking system at all. Okay, got it in the joint, slide it all the way, let it drop down and then watch how it falls when I hit it with the tapping block. So it falls right in, you can see it's in the joint correctly there. Overall, this plank went together really well. I'm satisfied with it. It has squared edge joints on it, so it's not a micro bevel. But you can kind of see there's a little bit of a bevel in the cross joint. 
overall, this plank went together really well. I'm gonna give it an eight out of 10 as far as how easy it was. 10 being the best. Now this was the tongue side, here's the groove side. So we wanna hold this down while we lift this up. So I wanna see after I pounded it together if the lip broke off and it does. So once you pound this together, you do not wanna take that apart. Now let's see if it'll slide apart. So the only way you wanna take those apart is if you slide it apart. No scratches. Okay, on this Corlex plant where I hit it with the hammer, it didn't leave a big ding on the one part of the hammer, but the claw did hit a little bit right there. Of course, it's in the dark spot, so it's hard to see. It didn't go in too deep, but it did leave a mark there with the claw right there. Right in there. The color of this is Olympia Oak. The size of this plank is a seven by 48. It has the attached pad on here, which I like. The price of this is $2.99 a square foot. Now the thickness of this is five millimeter. Okay, and the wear layer on here is a 12 mil. Now a 12 mil is the minimum I'd go with, and I think it's all you really need. Um, just so you know, okay, I, you'll never wear through this 12 mil. Okay, but 20 mil is good, obviously, but once you start getting 20 and above, it's just so much overkill. So just keep that in mind. If you can find something with a 12 mil, you're gonna be just fine. Um, with this plank, there's eight different patterns. I really like this about LL flooring is that they're showing it right on their website how many patterns are gonna come with each plank that you buy, which is really nice because most plank companies hide that. Now the scratch protection, they hide what they're putting on here, and I don't know why they're not sharing what they're using with all of the Corlux products. So I'm just, I'm not 100%, I did some research on it, and from what I'm seeing from what online is that it's a ceramic bead technology that they're using, which is good. I just am unsure about it. But before we do the scratch test here, I guess let's check out the, so the locking system does break, but it is, it does take a little bit of work. You've seen me hit it with my tapping block. It doesn't break with the tapping block. So you don't even need to use a scrap piece like I was telling you to protect the locking system. You can just use your tapping block right on it. Uh, let's check the scratch protection. I just ran my fork over there. I honestly don't even see any marks at all in there from it. Overall, this plank installed really nicely. I'd like to see a little bit more durability in this locking system. Overall, I'm going to give this plank a 7 out of 10 as far as a score. I do think it's a good quality plank. I wouldn't say not to buy this. I would actually highly recommend it, especially for the price of this. Okay, so now we're going to talk about Corlux XD. Okay, so in this carton there was 10 pieces and there's six different patterns in here. Now there is not any that are identical, so there is actually more. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here. With these two, you can see there's a little bit of overlap here. Here's the same pattern. This one's all by itself. Here's one that's got an overlap of a couple feet here. I guess is what you could say. Another one with a couple, two feet overlap, I guess. This one's all by itself. And then these two. All right, we'll try the marker test on this one. So 
so that comes right off. Scores and snaps real good. We'll try the length. Let's see how that does that. Jigsaw goes through that nicely. It burrs up a little bit, but that's normal. Okay, so this is a tongue and groove. So what we do here again is we put the plank inside the butt joint by lifting it at an angle and sliding it in there. That goes in there nicely. I'll put my next plank in. Fell in there nicely. Now when I put in another piece right here from the attaching to this row, I'm gonna get it in first into the joint, slide it all the way over to this edge. Now I'm gonna lift it up at an angle this way and use my tapping block. This stuff's actually going together really nicely. I'm hitting it hard with the tapping block. It's not doing anything to the locking system to damage it. Okay, you can see how nicely this went together. This is a micro bevel edge. I would say on a scale of one to 10, I'd give this an eight on how nicely it went together. Now this is just pool sand. It's a really fine coarse sand. It's probably what you'd find dragging into your house. Looking in certain lighting. I don't see any scratches and this plank actually has a lot of embossing on it. So with this Corlox XD, there is a little spot right here where I hit it with the hammer that you can see a ding from the claw, but that's the only spot. It didn't leave a big dent from when I hit it with the other part of the hammer. The claw just left that little ding there. It's not too bad. The locking system on this one is very strong. I can break it, but wow, does it take a lot. So it's more durable, definitely, than the normal core locks. So this is Pyrenees Maple. The size of this plank is seven by 48. It has an attached pad on there. The price on this is 329 a square foot. The thickness of this plank is six millimeter. Honestly, it's a very solid, rigid plank. I don't foresee this plank having any problems with sunlight where you would have like buckling and things. So I really do believe this would be a great plank. It has a 20 mil wear layer on here. Now there's six patterns in this carton, six different patterns. And I don't know what the scratch resistant protection is on there because they're not sharing it. Now it left marks with the fork on this, but I don't feel that they dug in. Let's see if I can wipe them off. Okay, looks like the marks that I left are gone. There's a little bit left right there, but again, I don't feel like I dug in, it just left a mark. Yeah, and the more I wipe on it, the more it disappears. So the scratch protection on this seems to be really good. 
You can also see like on all these Corlux planks, it has a lot of texture, which is the embossing part of it. I really do like how much detail that has. All, all three of these planks are the same way. You'll see that very uh, detailed with that and makes it so you won't have such a fake look when you're looking across the floor in certain lighting. Overall, I like the way this installed. I think this is a good solid plank. I would give this plank an eight out of 10. So now let's talk about Core Lux Ultra. Okay, so we had six pieces of this plank in one carton and I only see there's five different patterns here. Now, this one right here, is the same, but only for like halfway of it. So that's actually pretty good in my eyes. Let's see, so half the plank. The rest of these are all different. So one thing I've noticed with the Corlux products that I really like is that they've taken time to make sure that they have lots of different patterns in their plank. That's something that I haven't seen with the Home Depot or the Lowe's plank that we've reviewed so far. All right, let's try the marker test. So that comes right off. Let's try the cut test. Now this is a little thicker, more heavy duty plank, that's for dang sure, so takes a little bit more to score and snap it. Now because this is a longer plank, some of you might not want to try to score and snap something this long. You might want to just use a jigsaw. But if I scored it a couple times, it probably would go a little bit easier, but this is really hard to do it. It's a pretty heavy duty plank, like I said. Try to score it twice and see what happens. Yeah, it's pretty hard. But if you have a table, maybe. I'm not gonna score and snap it that way. I would just say use a jigsaw with this. See it broke off there where I had it scored already. But it cuts really nice with the jigsaw. All right, now this plank is a drop and lock. Now a lot of times with these planks that are a little wider and longer, the plank manufacturers will make them a drop and lock. Just trying to get this first joint lined up perfectly. Now I want you to know I'm using a mallet here that has a hard side and a soft side. Now this mallet is what I use for wood floors and stuff. It's really a good mallet. I just want you to know what the deal is with that one. Now because we have longer planks, sometimes these can be a little bit more difficult to get together at first. You can see I'm using the tapping block hitting this really hard. This really is a solid plank, I gotta admit. You can see I'm hitting it really hard and it's not doing any damage to it. Again, these longer planks are just a little more difficult to put together. So I went with a wide, long plank on the Ultra. I'm not sure exactly how many different patterns or how many different widths they have and lengths, but overall this longer one definitely takes a little bit of work to put together. So overall, because of the width of this plank being so wide and then the length being so long, it's a little bit more difficult for this particular one. So I'm gonna give this plank I'm gonna give it a six out of 10 for how easy it is to install. 
Now the narrower stuff will probably be a lot easier. So now I'm gonna take this apart and I wanna see what happens if I needed to take this apart for any reason. It slides apart. That's probably the way to do it with this so that you don't damage anything. If you do lift up, you wanna make sure you'll hold down the groove side, but you can see it'll break if you do that. So I would not pull it apart. I would slide it apart if you had to. If something like this did happen to you and that broke, you would just have to use this somewhere else, like up against a wall. scratches. So the Corlex Ultra is actually, this is really a heavy duty plank, very solid. Um, you can just feel the weight. Now this is nine inches wide by 60 inches long. The color of this is rattan maple. Not sure if it's rattan maple or rattan. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It does have an attached pad like all the other Corlex, product, Corlex products do. This is 343 a square foot. So this is a pretty dang good deal. They did have it scratched out on there that they were selling it for $4.29. So you are getting a really good deal here at the $3.43 a square foot. As far as what the price is at the time that I'm filming this, this is seven millimeters thick. So it's a nice thick plank, which I really do like. I don't think you'll ever have an issue with a plank like this with sunlight. Um, it has a 20 mil wear layer on here. The thing I don't like is with this particular color anyway, it only has four different patterns inside the box. Okay, now the scratch protection, again, they're not showing what that is. So I don't know exactly what they're using. I believe it's the ceramic bead. I don't see any scratches. So let's check out the locking system. Again, I hit this pretty hard. I can't even bust this one. So this is a super strong locking system, wow. You know, because it was a wider plank I shared with you, it had the drop and lock, a little more difficult to put together, but it wasn't terrible. I think once you get going and you get the floor secured, it could go together really nicely for you. Overall, I'm gonna give this an eight out of 10. I wish that they had more patterns, but again, this might just be just to this color where the four patterns and because of how wide it is, but check that out when you go on their website, you'll be able to find that out. All right, so the next plank that we're gonna talk about is Tranquility XD. Now there's a Tranquility XD, there's a Tranquility, Tranquility XD and a Tranquility Ultra. Now this one doesn't really have an attached pad on it. It's some kind of a coating they put on the back, but I would think this is one that you would need to get a pad with. We'll talk more about that in the, later on. Okay, so this one has 12 pieces in a carton, and I found five different patterns. Now, they're not all exact. There is not any exact patterns in this carton, but there are some that overlap. And so I'll show you those right now. So out of these three that I have, you can see, here's the pattern right here. Now I do want to point out that these two are going the same direction, okay? Because the next one I'm going to show you is actually flipped. So the groove is up here, but you can see these two are pretty much almost identical. Now, if I take this one and I flip it so that the locking system is opposite, then it's the same pattern. So now I have the tongue up here on this plank, where this one right here, this is the groove. So actually the correct direction would be like this. So it's not an exact match, but I do wanna show you something on this one that I haven't seen in some of the other planks that we've done. Look at this plank right here, and this is one of the three that we were just looking at. 
it has the same exact pattern on the same plank. Now that I don't like. They can get more creative than that with these. So here's this one. Again, this one's reversed. So you can see it right there. Now the locking system actually goes like this, so it wasn't an exact match on that because the pattern is going a different way then. But I just want to point that out. This one, same thing, patterns are kind of reversed where the locking system's going different, but there's the pattern right there. So it would actually be like this. Same pattern, but just reversed. This one, the plank is going the same direction. And you can see there's the pattern. Now again, this is one that has the pattern identical on each end of this plank. I just don't like that, but I, I want to point that out to you. And then we have these three that are pretty much the same. So here's the one right there. You can see it's right there. So there's an overlap on that one. And then this one is right here. And again, this piece right here is actually reversed from the other two. Let's try the marker test. See, that comes right off. Now I'm sure this is gonna score and snap pretty easy. Let's try the length. Jigsaw cuts right through it. Okay, now this is a tongue and groove plank, just like the, some of the others I've showed you. Square edge plank, so it doesn't have a bevel, a micro bevel. Seems to go together nice and tight in the cross joint there. Okay, so I gotta put the tongue in on the joint end joint first. I'm hitting this pretty decent with the locking system and it doesn't seem to be damaging too much. There's a little bit of a ding right there, but so you probably want to use a scrap piece when you're using the tapping block with this. piece of the tongue stick out right there. I don't know if it was damaged from the box or what, but I have to stick this back in. See what I'm talking about right here? Can you get a visual of that? Yeah. So, a little bit of a weird spot there. So knowing that, I'd take this plank and use it somewhere else. I'm gonna keep it like that, but I wanna show you that might be something you need to look for when you're doing this. Now come down here, and you can see right here, with my tapping block, I damaged the plank just a little bit. Not a heck of a lot at all. I have been hitting this pretty hard.
Okay, that one went together really nice. I don't know, for a thin plank and the square joints, it seems to go together pretty decent. The locking system doesn't get damaged too much by hitting it. I would expect it to with being a little thinner plank, but even hitting it really hard, it seems to be okay. Overall, I think this plank went together pretty nicely. You can see the joints went together nice and tight. As far as how easy this floor was put together, I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10. Still no scratches. So this Tranquility XD actually did get a pretty good dent in it when I hit it with the claw of the hammer. The other part of the hammer did nothing to it. Let's check the locking system. The locking system is just so brittle on this. I don't like this at all. I, I, I just don't. Um, I didn't like the patterns, how they would show on this plank from, on the same side, on one end and the other, you'd see the same exact plat pattern. This is Pioneer Park Sycamore is what the color is on this. It's a seven by 48 plank. You have to buy a pad. There's no pad attached. It's 249 a square foot. It's four millimeters thick. It has a 12 mil weight layer on it. There's five patterns per carton. And I don't know what the scratch protection is on it because they don't tell me, but the fork doesn't, it does hit it a little bit right there. There's some scratches, but I do believe that the scratch resistance on this is pretty good. The fork marks went away now. At least the more I rub them, they do. Not a fan of this locking system. I'm gonna give this one, I'm gonna give this a four out of 10. Okay, the box looks no different, just like the Corelux boxes were, but this is Tranquility Ultra. Okay, again, there's not an attached pad on this. Now, I know that Lumber Liquidator sells a pad made for Tranquility. It seems to be like a decent pad, so you'd want to make sure you have that when you install this. Now, me personally, I'd rather have a plank that has an attached pad because I believe you get more sound quality from the plank where it sounds more solid. Okay, so on one carton here, we have 10 planks, five different patterns. All of these this time are gonna be going the same direction, so I didn't reverse the locking system at all. And you'll see we'll have the same there, same there. They are overlapping. Two of them are identical almost it's an overlap just a little bit here let me show you what it would be so there it is so it's like a six inch it does have really high texture to it a lot of embossing in this to make it look real so then we have these three again these ones are all going the same direction i didn't reverse the locking system at all on these so there's two now that we have three of pretty much the same. This one's all by itself. And then we have this one. And then this one's all by itself also. And actually I'm wrong about this last one. It actually is part of these four. It is a little different though. They did kind of what the Core Lux did here. You can see. I have the same pattern right there, but it's not, it's like overlapped a little bit. So it's not like the full pattern is on here. It's like half of it. You can see it right here and right here. See if I can do this. So this is where it would actually be then is right there. Okay. All right, let's try the marker test now. Let's 
see all that marker comes right off. So it does score and snap pretty easy. And the length too. Jigsaw cuts right through it. It actually doesn't burr up too bad either. All right, so this is another plank that's a tongue and groove. Now the difference with this one, even from the last Tranquility one, which is kind of weird to me, is that the locking system is opposite. On the last Tranquility plank, the uh, XD, the groove is on this side, but it was on this side of the plank, not on this side. So it's a little different. Still goes together the same, it's just you have to work a different way. Tapping that pretty hard, it's not breaking. It's always hard to start the first, harder to start the two, first two rows. So let's see how the third row goes. Okay, so this one's going together a little harder. So I'm looking to see if maybe I did. So a lot of times you use a scrap piece to hit this plank instead of hitting the locking system like I'm doing. This plank, I would suggest that that's what you do because it doesn't like the tapping block. I definitely know by me tapping it right here, I've disturbed it a little bit, so this one, didn't want to go together quite as easy because of that. Again, another spot where it just doesn't want to go together for me. Little extra effort on that one. So yeah, I don't like using the tapping block on this one. I've, this one and the other Tranquility Plank, it doesn't really like it. So what you can do is you can just have a scrap piece I'm just gonna cut this real quick. Cut the groove off. Instead of hitting the tapping block on here directly, use your scrap and hit it that way. Now you can shrink this tapping block down. It doesn't need to be a full piece. I could have cut this down. So it's a little smaller to work with and then just do it like this, that protects the edge so you don't damage that. It does have a little tiny bevel, you can kind of see it right there. That's not a gap, it's the bevel, it's kind of shiny. 
But overall, the plank goes together nice when, it's to, when it is together. As far as installing it and how easy it was, I'm gonna give this a four. I don't think it was quite as easy as I would like it to be. scratches. Now I don't even see where the hammer even hit on this plank. This is the Tranquility Ultra. Again you can see the texture that is in here quite a bit. A lot of embossing going on in this. This is called Copper Ridge. The size of this is six, I'm going to just call it a six and a half by 48. There's no pad on the back of this which I absolutely want to have pad on my plank. So I'm kind of biased about that, but this is $2.99 a square foot. It's five millimeters thick. It has a 20 mil wear layer on it. There's five patterns in this carton. And it doesn't, again, like the Corlux doesn't tell me what the scratch resistant layer is. The fork doesn't touch it at all. I didn't like the locking system and you can see how I just am not a fan of this locking system on this plank at all. The durability of it is good. I would say that I would want to have a somewhat decent floor with how this, this is kind of flexible like in other planks I've showed you. I, I don't know. They Make sure if you do get this plank that you use the pad underneath it. I would definitely use a scrap piece to hit the plank together with the tapping block so you protect the locking system. I'm just not, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of this plank. I'm gonna give this a four out of five. All right, next let's look at Durvana. It's kind of hidden there. Okay, so in this carton there was nine different plank and there actually really is nine different patterns, but not really. And I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about right now. Let's start with this one. So you can see this plank right here it's the same, but they faded this one out, which is actually kind of cool because the pattern doesn't seem exact then, but it is on this one. Then we have this one. So I'll just go through these real quick and show you. Now this is a different type of floor, it's a hybrid floor. It's not a vinyl plank and it's not a laminate. So let's test it and find out. But here's another one. Now this one's faded, but it actually brought out kind of a different pattern to it. It's really hard to tell that these two are identical because like this black spot right here, or this dark spot actually isn't on this plank. So I don't know if I'd even consider this the same, even though I know by studying it really closely it is, it's just, it's different. So I'm not gonna consider it the same, but it's kind of different what they did there. I kind of like that. All right, we're gonna try the marker test. So that comes right off. Now this, we're not gonna be able to score and snap with a knife. We're not gonna be able to score and snap this with the utility knife. This is gonna be using a jigsaw, a chop saw, or you can use a table saw. You could also use the cutter, the guillotine cutter. Cuts good with a jigsaw. Now keep in mind, my jigsaw is pretty worn. So with a bad blade on there, it actually doesn't chip too bad. So I'd use a jigsaw to cut this for sure. So we have the tongue here that goes into the groove. So we're just gonna lift. Get that right into joint, goes together nicely.
So I'm gonna lift up, slide it over. I'm gonna let it down a little bit. Now I have it up at an angle. Now I'm gonna start putting this together with the tapping block. There we go. Got to really get it locked into that joint. Okay. So again, right here, you can see with the locking system, I broke that. So you'd want to probably use a scrap with this. For the most part, it doesn't look too bad. I did beat it up a little bit in here. Now I'm gonna show you the way that they tell you to put this plank together, because there is another way you can do this. So you'd wanna put this first plank in. Then they say to slide it forward and get it to lock down. And then you can see like right here how I have the gap. So what they're saying to do here is take a scrap piece. Now this could have been a full, plank, I have a cutoff, I'm just gonna use the cutoff, stick it on so that it over goes on both sides of the joint here. Just tap that in so it lays nice and flat. Now these two planks are even with one another. Now I'm gonna take another scrap. And we're gonna hook that in right here. And then we're gonna hit that with a rubber mallet or a hammer, whatever it is that you want. And we're gonna hit it this way until that joint goes together. So I'm just gonna start hitting it. Still a little bit of a gap. Good? Yep. Okay, so now it's nice and tight. So putting these plank together this way is gonna be easier than the way I was showing you, but it's just gonna take more time to do that. No scratches. Okay, so with this Durvana plank, you can see I left a pretty decent deep ding inside this. It didn't with the main part of the hammer though, so it probably won't indent with chairs and stuff, but you can see that I did leave a nice little ding there. Now this is called Silk Spire Oak. The si Okay, so with the Durvana here, this is the hybrid flooring, and this is more like a laminate. So this is, the color of this is silk spire oak. The size of the plank is a seven and a half by 50. It does have an attached pad on here, but they do say that they recommend for you to put another pad underneath it. I don't know why they do, but, so you can put another pad underneath it. Now this is 399 a square foot. The thickness of this is seven millimeters, so it is very strong. It's actually really lightweight too. Now, the thing that impresses me the most about this is in, in this line, there is 22 different patterns they're saying to this. Now, if you take a look, you can really see the embossing in here. I do believe that it has a really good natural wood look to it. So I do like the, the look of it. Now, the scratch protection, they see, they're saying that it has ex extreme scratch and wear resistant layer. That's what the scratch protecting is on it. Let's try this with the fork. Now, I'm not sure what it is that's on here. I'm, I'm guessing that it might be like an aluminum oxide. Just looking to see. I don't see any deep scratches. If there's any fork marks, I don't see them. I'm gonna wipe this off just to be sure. I'm not 
seeing any. So the scratch resistant on it definitely is good. You can see over here in the one that I hit with the hammer, you can see that it did go in a little bit deeper there. I mean, like I said, this isn't as, as durable, I guess, as a vinyl plank with a solid core would be, but it's, it's comparable to laminate. I don't feel like it's a bad product as far as durability goes. I thought it installed a little tougher. Let's check out this locking system. I wasn't able to damage the locking system, but I've really got to work hard here too. Okay. So it's a strong locking system, very durable. But like I said, I, I feel the, the way that I sh shared with you on how to install it is gonna be slow, so you need to realize that. It's gonna go slow on an install, but it does go together well if you use the method that I was showing you at the end there and how they recommend you to install it. I'm putting the butt joints together. Overall, with the installation, and the quality of this plank, I'm I'm gonna give this an eight. I I know I've thrown out a lot of eights there today, but I'll be honest, it, it it's it's a pretty nice plank here. Anyway, I'm pretty I'm actually a little bit shocked at the results of this. I did not think that Corlux was that great of a line, but after testing it and going through this with you, I have different feelings about that now. I'm really leaning towards. Well, I would highly recommend Corlux. Any of the, the Corlux, the XD and the Ultra, I'd highly recommend it to anybody who's looking to do a vinyl plank installation. So go check those products out. Now I do have done reviews for Home Depot, Lowe's and Menards. Next, I'm gonna be doing floor and decor. So hit the sub button. Um, like this video too, if you, if you liked it, I really do appreciate it, but hit the sub button so you can get notified. So click the bell too, so you can be notified when that comes out. I'm looking to have that out next week. And I have a playlist that you can go to, to see all of these reviews that I've done. I'll put the link right here for that right on my channel is there. I have this playlist that, uh, we'll go and show you all those different videos on. So that's how you do that. So anyway. Um, looking forward to this next video next week, so be looking for that. Hey, thanks for watching my video. God bless you and your family, and I pray that he helps you on your search for vinyl plank. I pray for that in Jesus' name. Hey, have a great day.